In Lebanon, there are two million refugees living below the, below the poverty line. They, have, they are facing lack of access to channels to communicate their problems. They, have also, they are also facing extremely cold weather conditions. UN agencies who serve these communities use labor-intensive data collection practices and outdated technologies to determine who is most in need of support. Clearly, there is a problem. And I'm here with my team to solve it. Hi, I'm George, and I present QuickSense. We empower agencies to monitor, analyze, and predict the real-time environmental conditions of the refugees in their camps by transmitting data from customizable QuickSense devices to our easy-to-use cloud-based dashboard. Our devices can last for up to two months without electricity. Our dashboard can also, predict, can also generate reports, trigger alarms, and make predictions. UN, let's talk numbers. UNHCR spends $236 million annually on winter assistance kits. And yet, they are inefficient in their process. UNHCR, have three, UNHCR is deploying 300 devices all across Lebanon this upcoming Monday. Our first contract with, UNH, with UNHCR is our first contract with UNHCR is an achievement that humbles us. It's turning our purpose to life. Uh, data, data collected from QuickSense devices will help children, prote will protect children from the harsh, cold upcoming winter. Our business model is simple and transparent. Devices assembly is modular, as we price our devices through our sensor combinations. Beyond our first contract with UNHCR, we are, targeting, we are testing a water, water composition sensors with UNICEF for the water tanks remotely. We are seeking for $250,000 to be able to, uh, to achieve our next milestone, which is selling 5,000 devices during the, up, the upcoming year. We are reaching for our slash audience to, be, to connect with us and to meet uh, industry, industry industry experts, and to do corporate uh, partnerships with them. We have tested and validated our product over the last year, and we have stand in the shoes of the refugees trying to understand their daily struggles. We have joined a first-of-its-kind accelerator uh, funded by a UN agency, Elevate Impact Accelerator. We are a team of four, uh, four entrepreneurs, Ryan, my one, and I. Hassan is our chief product officer. He joined our team since he, has a, he is a refugee himself, and he believes and trusts in Quick sense. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Another idea with great impact. Let's see what the jury thinks. So, uh, <clears throat> question about um, uh, your sales and customers. I mean, are you selling to you and, and, and uh, NGO institutions, or is there private customers, and how do you plan to do that sales? All right. So as we already have a contract with UNHCR of deploying 300 devices all, the, all across Lebanon this upcoming Monday, we are planning to renew our contract with them and, may, and hopefully to expand this contract to a much, no, much bigger number since we already have 2 million refugees in Lebanon and the number is increasing every year. Second, we are hoping to lock down the contract with UNICEF and to secure this contract with them. Third, if everything goes right, and we hope that it's going to go right, we are, we are planning to target for-profit organizations to optimize their efficiencies and operations in their, in their daily day-to-day -day, uh, operations. And, um, and how is your actual idea helping to like, you know, find answers for the refugee crisis in the long run? We are hoping to help them, uh, to help protecting them through uh, preventing their living conditions. To, through monitoring the environmental conditions in their shelters through our dashboard by collecting the information and the monitoring temperature and getting some support for, from the UN agencies to them. Right, but it's, it's just optimizing immediate aid, right? Yes, directly, yes. Well, I'm curious about the industry experts and larger corporations that you're looking for. Can you be a bit more specific of what kind of expertise you're looking for and what kind of large corporates? All right. So since we are a, tech, an IoT company, we are looking for 
in the industry, market, industry experts in, in that field. That means we are looking for uh, maybe in the factories that can build boards like Arduinos or Raspberry Pi that can help us. Industries that are currently uh, doing batteries. And our vision is to start deploying our devices with solar panels so it can recharge themselves and help us doing that, uh, that, that business with us. So do you, do you have any plan for how the greater um, data collection when you get a lot of the sensors out can help you predict and improve things beyond kind of instant uh, action? Uh, I didn't, I, I'm not sure I understood your question, but if, I'm, if we're talking about sensor combinations, expanding our sensor combinations, we are now securing the contract of water composition in water tanks for UNICEF since, we are, since they wanted, would like to know if the water the refugees are drinking is potable or not, if they are showering with the good water for their children and saving them through protecting them. So we hope to one, one device, we can detect many, many environmental conditions and save as much refugees as we can. Thank you. I was thinking more about if you have uh, a thousand sensors all around, uh, or like 10,000, and having more data over time to predict more uh, preventative things instead of kind of instant uh, fixing problems when they occur. So if the data can be automated to help like uh, UN service, service providers to help the refugees. Yes, we are planning to do that through mesh networks beyond, uh, uh, through our devices so they can be linked to like the service providers and the firefighters, for example, if in case a fire can happen, so they can be helped and save more refugees more quickly and to save their lives. So it's all about the team, right, that makes this happen and it looks like you got a great team, but um what makes you unique, your specific combination of members? Since we met at the hackathon, we saw that we have a perfect combination be between us. And three months ago, Hassan, who is a refugee himself, joined our team because he believes and shares the same purpose as we do. We plan on growing our team and the infrastructure with the money that we are looking for. So hopefully, there are many people who, who believe in the same purpose as QuickSense does. And with that, we are ending your session. Thank you so much, George Najar from Lebanon. Thank you.